Welcome to the next Critique the Community. Today we have a special guest. This is F Stopper's biggest fan, my biggest fan. I guarantee you she's seen more Critique the Communities than anyone on the planet. <laughs> my mother, Virginia Morris. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. <laughs> now, this is a weird critique because Pi in the last critique randomly said birds. We'll, we'll just say birds. 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 You got a picture of a bird. That's the next critique. He didn't really mean just pictures of birds. He meant portraits of people with birds because mm -hmm. as you guys will see, these videos might come out right around the same time, but I competed with Pi. Just in case you haven't seen it yet, I'm not gonna tell you when, who wins, but I took a picture of a girl with a bird in the background and I was very excited about it. So he was mocking me and saying the next critique will just be all portraits with birds, but we realized that's gonna be very difficult to find people with those pictures, so yeah. we just changed it to birds. Bird. Now, before we get into this critique, Mom, you need to choose Ooh. what the next critique will be on. Come up with any genre right now, on oh, the spot. I Go. can't do, do that. It. I don't know. <laughs> Dogs playing pool. <laughs> <laughs> we have a picture over here of that. No, it can't be that. No. But it could be of dogs. Okay, I like dogs. All right, we're gonna stick with dogs. Okay which is weird because we're doing birds today and dogs next week, but okay. it can be a picture with any dog in the photo. It doesn't have to be a portrait of a dog. It could be a portrait of someone else with, a, with dog a dog or anything you want, as long as there is a dog in it. So if you wanna be a part of the next dog photography critique, you can go to the link in the description right now and you can uh, upload your dog pictures. I think you might have some dog pictures you should upload. You think? Yeah. Like the one with the puppies. Fine. That I was, was your, thinking about that. Was that was your famous picture. Mm -hmm. My mom <laughs> purchased a DSLR, like an old DSLR for me. You bring it everywhere we go. Yes. So you take far more pictures than I do now. Yeah. So in a way, you... Are the photographer. Yeah, you are more of a <laughs> photographer than me. You One is a snapshot. Yeah. Two needs work before it hits your portfolio. portfolio. Three is solid good, image. solid image, ready for your portfolio. Four is yeah. excellent. Five is world class. Yes. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing some of those world-class ones. Well, that almost never happens, but we shall see. They may get a five from me. Okay. Well, <laughs> you can be nice and give them a five. Let me pull this up and here. And we have to do our pick our number. Oh, yes. Yeah. So um, um, my mom knows how to do this better than we do. She was like, you guys always forget to pick the numbers. So do you want to pick the number for the how, random winner? How many do we? Two through 20. Two through 20. Okay, do you want me to tell it? Tell it. 14. 14, when we get to number 14, you're gonna win a free tutorial. So while I download this, Mom, mm -hmm. how have you been enjoying Puerto Rico? It is beautiful, and the weather's been lovely. And mm -hmm. Had a little bit of rain, but it was while we were undercover, so it was great. It's warm, but then I'm from Florida, so that's really warm too, so that's not been too, too different. But you haven't been super happy that we moved here. No, I miss them terribly. I, you know, so <laughs> I don't feel I, like it's that much further away than where I mean. I just can't get in the car and you go. You can't when drive. I want to you go. can't drive anymore. Yeah. No, but so. you can fly, and then you get something totally, totally new. Yeah, and it is nice. But what's really shocking to me is they live in a place that's hillier than North Carolina, which was scary to me to go to my other son's house, and this son and now, now we has all live a in the mountains. steeper driveway. So that's right. Now everybody complains about this, but. We're going to continue, at least for this critique. This is the highest rated image of the critique. Everything should go down, downhill after this, okay. but that's not usually the way that it works for us. But um, Well, that, that's helpful to me. Is it helpful? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you ready? So we're yes. going to go three, two, one, and then yes. we're going to throw a number. Yes. I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one. I was in between a three and a four. I feel like yeah, this could very easily be four. Yeah. And I could even, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it could be a five. I just think this is amazing. I love his eyes. I love his little feet. It looks like he's got little shoes on. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> I never, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's like rabbit feet. It's just amazing. That's strange. <laughs> I thought he would have, maybe his claws, claws? are back behind there Probably or something. Probably so, that's weird. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like it's a cool shot. I can see it's why It's well done. It. I mean, I, we actually did a video where we photographed um, birds of prey flying at the camera and mm. we never released it. Oh, okay. Um, so I know a little bit about how difficult it can be yeah. and everything. But the other thing is, if this is 
a bird in nature, it's exponentially more difficult than if this is a Cap privately owned yeah. a captive bird. So Absolutely. where we we went to this, not a museum, but it was kind of like a zoo for mm. birds like these oh, okay. that were maybe yeah. injured and they need to be rehabilitated. And they could get these birds through the same path again and again and again, which oh. made it so easy right. for us to get these shots. Yeah. So that's why I'm not super impressed by this. But of course, if you were out in the woods and you had this Yeah. Well, owl, and how would that even have been... I mean, because I can see, obviously, the depth of field is short in terms of what's fuzzy behind him, but how can he be completely in focus? I mean, you could do that. So, I mean, if you shot at 2.8 and this was mm -hmm. 200 millimeters, his body's not that long. Long, yeah. So everything would still remain mm -hmm. pretty sharp. And this could even be shot at 5.6. Who knows? If the background is far enough away, yeah. then uh, okay. it could look like this. It's just amazing. I love it. Um, okay, let's see what the community says. The community gives it 3.58. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is a portrait with a bird. Mm -hmm. Not what I was expecting, mm -mm. but I had, I tried to have no expectations for this because birds uh, could yeah. come up with some crazy looking images, and this is one of them. Are you ready to rate this? Okay. Three, two, one. Two stars, we agree. Okay. Okay, why do you give it two stars? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, not really, <laughs> I'm not really liking it. Um, the girl is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The bird is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't like them together. Okay. Um, it's impressive that he's grabbing her leg there. Um, I am surprised he's not poking a hole in her leg. Because, um, yeah. you know, people wear gloves Yeah, we, we had to wear the, the gloves when we did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm, that's a... Gary looking picture. And she looks mighty calm <laughs> to have that going on. Yeah, so I, I imagine that you would be critiquing a lot of these images based on these things that you just brought up. Like, yeah. she looks pretty, but it's weird there's a bird, and yeah. it looks like it's hurting her leg. Like, all of these things. I also don't like the color or lack thereof. You know, I, it's just too bland. That That is one of my first mm -hmm. issues with this. I do not like the color grade at all. I just feel like if this is what you want, then just go all the way and make it black and white. It mm. feels very strange to have 4% color mm. in this image and not just take it all the way down to uh, total desaturation. Mm -hmm. The depth of field is also weird to me. I feel like this image mm. is about both the bird and the girl, mm -hmm. but then to have the bird in the foreground and out of focus, that's very strange to me. You Usually know what? the person in front you'd have in focus. Yeah, you know what I'd like? Is if her eyes got wild like the bird's eyes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't that do something for you? It know, would do something. <laughs> I don't know if it would do something good. It would do something. All right, let's see what the community says. Okay. 2.64. They liked it a little more than we okay. did. Okay. All right, here's another <laughs> portrait with a bird. <laughs> so they, somebody got the memo. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, and look at the, the expression on that chicken's face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I knew this critique was going to be a nightmare. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous photography. Um, yeah, I don't even know. All right, let's go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Two stars. We agree again. What do you have to say about this? Well, I like the colors better than the last one. Yeah. I don't think, is that the bird's wing sticking up there or his butt? That's his butt, I think. Well, I think that's ill-placed. I don't okay. think you don't like the chicken butt. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it would be better. Uh, I don't know. It, it's good. The bird's looking at the camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like the star of this image is the is the chicken, but <laughs> the chicken is once again a little out of focus, which you know you can't really mm. do much with that. I've, the young man's very nice looking. Yeah, I feel like he His looks good. His mother would love this picture. His mother would be a big fan, I'm sure, but. It's just kind of weird, his gaze off mm -hmm. into the distance. I like the lighting on him. More like he's hugging his girlfriend. I like the color, yeah, but it's just, I don't know why you'd put this on your portfolio, and so that's why I give it I two I would stars. not put it in my portfolio. Okay. Well, the community gives it 2.36. Okay. All right, all right. More people and birds. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. You go three stars. I like this picture. <laughs> Come on. It's a mother thing, you Come know? Come on. It's, that is so sweet. Doesn't this remind you of that little bird, that, that hummingbird when you were about that age that we had and you held it on a stick? 
We're talking about professional photography here. We're talking about putting pictures on your well, website that you can make money with. Well, well, someone would, mothers would come to this girl and have, or whomever, okay. and have them take their picture of their family and their pet bird. So, first of all, the composition in this is very strange. There's all this dead space above their heads that doesn't need to mm, be there. And then mm -hmm. cropping through someone's arm like that That's is true. really weird. Um, I'm also not like, I like the bright colors, mm -hmm. but too much colors as mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned. It's almost Something. clipping. It's like so vibrant that it's clipping these colors a little bit. At least that's what mm -hmm. it kind of feels. I feel like her hand and the bird looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I, that I is... Almost, I couldn't see the bird at first, and I probably should have graded down as far as that's concerned. But yeah, maybe Wait, just... Wait, you, you rated this before seeing the bird? No, no, you? I oh, thought okay. about it all. But okay. I'm saying now that I really think about it, I could see where I could go definitely much lower. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, even if it was just a picture of the hand and the bird, that's a really cool picture. Uh, yeah, I feel it's like that would a be cool a bird. better looking image than this. I just feel like, you know, this this mother and baby it's just it's not the most photographic put on your website style of image well and now that you're pointing all this out to me yeah the her hand is beautiful yes. with the bird and the trees in yes. the background it does not seem not that she might not have a beautiful hand but it doesn't go with the rest of her and her child wait the, I oh mean, okay you know it's like perfectly manicured hand over here it's like ready for this picture, but the rest is just like, well, let me just quick run, get in the picture. You know, it's yeah. just not as. Yeah. And put for together. those reasons, that's why I would not put this on your website to yeah. sell. I mean, what would you do with this? Family portraits or something? Yeah. Um, it just it feels like a snapshot because of the composition. Yeah. And um, so that's why I give it two. But the community oh, agrees with me. One point nine. Ooh. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Okay. I was thinking about a four on this one. I love this one. I, I think I might like this better than the first image. Hmm. But the... I'm not sure how sharp it is. And I'm wondering... Well, your eyes are different. I'm, I'm looking... I mean, you can zoom in by pinching and zooming. Oh. I... I'm just, I'm wondering if this was shot on maybe a full frame camera and then cropped in a bunch to get uh -huh. this composition. I love the composition. I do you think that's great. snow in the background? I do. Or f uh huh. I mean, there's snow on the bird itself. Yeah, I guess so. So, or, yeah, I, I, guess it is. I really like it, but it just doesn't seem super high res. It mm -hmm. seems kind of like a low res image, so I'm going three. Hmm. Well, your eyes are better than mine, but. I think it's lovely. Do you like it better or worse than the owl? Probably equal to the owl. Um, I'd like them both. Okay. All right. Community gives it an even three stars. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We got the model with the bird flying through. Three, two, one. How'd you give it a two? I went two stars. I just feel like the bird... Although I like birds and portraits, I don't feel like this bird looks good. It's missing his head. Yeah, his head's chopped off, and it's just kind of weird to have it so large and not have a head right in the frame like that. And mm. then with all the other people on this bridge, and her clothes are a little frumpy and wrinkly looking, it just mm. doesn't really feel like a super professional shot that I would want on my website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really doesn't do anything for me. But you gave it three stars. Well... It was better than some I've seen, but it well, you know, I'm thinking this could have been a four, but it wasn't. So that's why I gave it a three. <laughs> you could do that with that. It could have been an eight, but I gave it a five. Well, I'm going with what I like. But you just and said you didn't like it. I didn't like it as much as a four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did the community the say? The community said 2.56. Two All right, next up. Okay. Oh. You like this one? I'm not saying. <laughs> All right, well, let's go. Three, two, one. Two stars. Okay, you don't like it that much. But it reminds me of David's Atlas shot. Okay, so <laughs> uh, were you a fan of that image? Uh, all the work that he put into it. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool when he got done with it. So for those I wasn't of you. I'm going to hang it on my wall. 
Okay, well, he did it to hang on the wall. Yeah, and I could see where it would hang on somebody's wall. Someone without artistic taste, perhaps. <laughs> In case you guys don't know what we're talking about, David Strauss did this photograph, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago at this point, where yeah. he, he got this bodybuilder to hold the sun. the sun. But he made it the most complicated thing ever. I like that this guy just probably walked yeah. out to the beach and was like, hey, let's take this picture. You know, and he did it in uh -huh. 30 seconds. David worked for weeks on this on stupid that, image yeah. and then looked horrible at the end of the thing. It's, it's an ongoing debate in the F-Stopper's office on whether he wasted his life doing that or not. Um, but you thought it was a good use of his time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this. Way to go, David. <laughs> you like David's shot better or worse than this? Well, I'm, you know, I think it's kind of a unique thing. I don't think I'd put it on my, what did I give this thing? I gave it a three. Well, I shouldn't have, because <laughs> I wouldn't put it on my No, way. you gave it two. Oh, did I give it a two? Okay, yeah, good. you gave it two. Because I don't like the big guy in it. I like the birds flying up there. Those are really beautiful with the So you the like sun. everything except the entire the concept. Yeah. You just want to destroy the concept of the image and <laughs> start over. Sorry to whoever took this. It was a well-executed thing, but it just well, to me, to me, me, this just feels this, like this cliche, like... Like your mother could do this real quickly on the beach. So... Uh, if you hear animosity and anger in her voice, it's because it's there. <laughs> Anytime we say something like, yeah, your mom could take this picture, we're usually talking about one-star images. And you, as someone who now owns a DSLR, you do not like <laughs> when Patrick or I say that. Because I assume it's this mom that you're talking about. <laughs> we're just talking about moms in, in general. general. Okay. Patrick knows what an incredible photographer oh, okay. you are. <laughs> All right, community gives this 2.24. Okay. So we have some birds like this in our neighborhood here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you saw it happen, but we go down and we feed the ducks. But this bird and another bird stand by and they will watch where we throw the bread and then they will get the fish you when the fish come out. up. Yeah. And so this is a wild hunter. Hmm. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I'm more like a three and a half. I think I am too. Whoa. We're agreeing more than I thought we would right now. <laughs> Why do you like it? I love the light on this bird. I don't know, is that it, he's just the center of attention. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. And I like the white against the green. It just the colors, the lighting, everything's working. He's got such a great shape to him. You know, everything about him is symmetrical and perfect, and I like it. Yeah, I, I, I'm wondering, though, if his head was extended. I don't mm. really know what these birds look uh -huh. like flying, but if his head was extended, if it would look a little nicer. Well, maybe that could, but I, this is very unique to me. I really like the, uh, the, the grass, the swoop of the grass oh, there, uh -huh. and then the color of the sunlight hitting the top of that. I feel like mm -hmm. that works really well. And then the bird is on that really dark part of the background, so he pops yeah. out even yeah, more. Yeah, it really does. The community Perfect. disagrees. They give it only 2.54 stars. Mm. What do they know? <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Mom. Now you're learning how to <laughs> be on the internet. I'm having a hard time telling what's going on here. Oh. We're, we're under really bright lights in here, and we have the, the... I think I know what's going on. I mean, I think it's a bird, right? But I what's that thing on the top of its beak? I, th I think it's, like, part of his beak. I've never seen a bird like that in my life. It's like a... Looks like a ancient dinosaur bird. or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm in between a three and a four. I'm throwing a four just because mm -hmm. even though I'm having a hard time kind of seeing the shadows here, I think it's because it's so bright in here. Mm -hmm. And this model looks so good to me. And I feel like this is such a unique pose and everything with mm -hmm. the bird. So what's this swooping down thing? Is that her, her shoulder? Do you think? I don't know. And for all these reasons, I probably should give this a three. Mm -hmm. Because you can't tell, yeah, I can't tell what's going much. on. It may be, like you say, the bright lights, and we're under really, it's, it's dark. But, yeah, maybe I'm seeing more of the burn. I don't know. But, but it's a cool picture. you like it, too. Yeah, I do. Community agrees with you. Three stars. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. Three, two, one. I give it a four. Wow. And you gave it a two. I almost gave this one. Oh my goodness. It is not a snapshot. <sighs> and so, what don't you like about it? What's Well, from an artistic standpoint, 
I feel like this is not good. This is, you know, the background and the foreground is pretty, it's overexposed. It's too, yeah. The fish and the bird don't look good. The bird's halfway under the water. It just, obviously they've done a great job capturing this moment. Yeah. But do it's not a moment. That do you think they put the fish in the bird's mouth? No. Okay. Like how would they put the I mean fish? like in post or whatever. You know, in Photoshop. Oh. No. I sure hope not. <laughs> if you can do if you're gonna do that, I hope you can come up with something better okay. than this. And is this blood dripping out of the fish? I would imagine that's blood dripping out that, of the side. That's of the fish. impressive to me. It <laughs> is, it is, but this is where I think as photographers you can become blinded because maybe this guy waited around for eight hours for this to, to happen this. and then he got it yeah and he's like this is the greatest moment of my career i can't believe i got this yeah. but then when somebody like me sees it i just go yeah you got that but like i don't want to see that it doesn't <laughs> look good to me uh -huh. the background is ugly to me the mm -hmm. bird is ugly the fish is ugly the water is ugly it's just it's just a grungy looking snapshotty image that goes beyond snapshot because they've captured this incredible moment uh-huh couldn't you do something on in Photoshop with the with the water <laughs> to fix it? <laughs> uh, certainly, certainly. Um, mm. But I just still look at this bird and uh -huh. this fish, and it's just mm. I but don't know. It again, like none of it really seems to be that much in focus, uh -huh. and it's just. Mm. I think maybe we we should do a competition because we have these birds down here that we can almost tell you guarantee what do. that they will catch fish. Yeah. So we could try to outdo this yeah. to prove that we're not just mm. arbitrarily rating images okay. low, that we would have to come up with something better. Okay. Community, three stars. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, mm. I thought you'd rate this higher. Well, it's a beautiful bird, and it's a beautiful beach, but it just like looks like somebody cut the bird out and stuck it on top of a picture of the beach. Yep. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of potential here, and I feel like the compositing isn't as bad as I would think. Like, this looks a little more realistic than I mm -hmm. might think it would, but it still looks fake to me, and the way the bird's wings are cropped is kind of strange to me. Mm. I almost want the bird to be a little further away. Mm. And have a little uh, more You know, make bird. it look more of like a drone shot or something, mm. so it's a little bit more believable. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it just looks Beautiful a little fake to me. Community, 2.14. Okay. And oh, we're, oh. Three, two, one. I could do a four. Okay. This, I'm not offended by that. Okay. I could see this hanging on somebody's wall, you know, a piece of art blown up nicely. Yes. Yeah, when you go back and compare this to the shot of the bird eating the bloody Fit, fish, yeah. it's just a totally different level. Yeah. One is... It's nature, yeah. but this one goes into more artistic. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. both nature so, and So, and artistic. it's what, what you're trying to sell, you know, as to what you want your website to have. But if you're in, into art, this would be great. Maybe I, maybe I would rate this a 4.2. Let's see what the community says. 3.08. Okay. He's very pretty. Next up. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? I, I think this might be my favorite image so far. Why? I just feel like this is very interesting and very artistic. I don't know. Not hmm. seeing it. I think the one of Natalie in, in Paris was better. <laughs> <laughs> we took a snapshot of uh, her daughter-in-law, my sister-in-law, holding pigeons. I don't think that was very artistic. It wasn't holding pigeons. They all like came and landed on her, you know. I'll have to go back and pull that yeah, image Yeah, it was an amazing <laughs> craziness. Yeah, but, I, you know, people posing with pigeons is not artistic in any way. No. This that wasn't, is, they, She was not posing with pigeons. But, and if I'm a mom, I would like this if this is my kid. And, you know, and I kind of like, I guess that's uh, shadows of the birds, right? Yeah. Um, so that's kind of cool. It feels like... This is a fine art print. It, this doesn't feel like the mom of this kid is going to hang this picture up. This feels like this is in some 
uh, Modern Museum Art Museum or, or something. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. I don't know, I just love the simplicity of it. The uh -huh. shadows make it, that line along the bottom kind of anchors everybody mm -hmm. to the bottom. Mm -hmm. the, the pose of the kid jumping like that. Yeah, I don't know, there's something really unique about this. Yeah, it's, I can see that. Community is right in between us, 3.14. Okay. All right, Mom, you have chosen number 14 as the winner. Ooh, I did good. So this is the winner. <laughs> uh, you guys will get a um, uh, message from David on fstoppers.com. You'll get any tutorial you want from fstoppers.com slash store. And just in case I didn't say this, the, the highest rated image at the beginning will get that too. Three, two, one. I'm going with a three. Uh-huh. But I'm close to a four. As am I. I love this picture. I love the fact that she's so vibrant. But one of the things, and maybe you would agree or disagree, her hair, that little mm. thing that's sticking out of there, I wonder if that should be gone. Mm. I don't mind the rest of her hair being, you know, going over her shoulder and stuff, but just that one thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's definitely a level of polish that this image does not have that I, you know, would normally rate a two or whatever, mm -hmm. but this feels like an engagement photo mm -hmm. or something like that, so that's And fine. I love the fact that, I mean, both of their faces are just so mm. clearly framed by the birds, you know? What do you think about the crop? Uh, I feel like it should be zoomed in and they should be moved to the center. Right now, it's, they're pushed to the left side and just a little bit. And they look a little, a little crickety, or is it just me? Maybe it's me. Maybe. This building doesn't seem to be built up to code in the mm. background. Mm, maybe. 2.26. Uh, I think it should have been more than that. We were oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't even know where to begin writing this. <laughs> Yeah. Three, two, one. I think I'm going for a two. Two as well. Like, it can't be a snapshot. Obviously, this photographer knows what they're doing. They've created yeah. something horrific here, but <laughs> they've created something. Um, it it's just doesn't... Ridiculous. I can't imagine putting this on a website and making money. And I have seen... There's a, another photographer on the F-Stoppers community that does these caricature... Uh, Photoshop composites of people's faces, mm. kind of how the you know how the artists do at Disney World yeah, where yeah. they make your face r ridiculous. Yeah. He does it in Photoshop and they look fantastic. Mm. This doesn't look fantastic. No. All right. But go. it is well done, and I love the color on the bird. Community likes it better than us. Huh? Two point nine nine. My goodness. <laughs> I guess they liked the technical aspects. Yeah. Now, I do not know how this is not the highest rated image of the critique, but, uh... Hmm. It's only supposed to... All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. And I'm on... And you're giving it a five. I'm in between There's a four and a five. There's too much smoke going on or whatever. Fog, yeah. whatever you call that. It's beautiful. It's it's just it's well done. I love the the color on the boat, but it's just too much. It's too much for me. So Felix Hernandez took this shot, and uh, he does a lot of miniature. He'll build these sets mm. out of toys and stuff. Uh -huh. And I wonder if this is a small boat. Mm -hmm. And then he composited a mm. person and a bird yeah. into the shot. Mm. I don't know for that if that's true, but uh -huh. that's kind of what he does. And um, I don't know. I love this. Obvi Charles. It's it's obviously over the top uh -huh. with the smoke and everything. Yeah. But I, I kind of feel that was the purpose. It's got uh -huh. this dream-like feeling. feeling. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I went five. But four, you know, I could I could certainly see that as well. But I really like this. It's well done. It's just not my style, okay. not my taste. Community, 3.23. Okay. Hmm. Ah, the dove wedding mm -hmm. shot. Now what's going on? Oh, I see, it's two doves in the bottom right. I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Wow, I thought you were going to rate this higher. No. No. Um, it's just, I could have taken this picture. 
Now you're putting yourself down, Mom. <laughs> well, it's just not, I mean, I know you did a picture with the birds and you got lucky and your picture was way better than this picture. What do you mean? On my website? On, yeah, of when this? your wedding, when you took yeah, a yeah, wedding yeah. picture. Yeah, I'd, I'd show that on the screen, the, but I'm sure I can't find it now. Here's the problem, f why I think this isn't so great. It's because there's too many other people in it. Yeah. Yours really only had the bride and the groom and the birds. A yeah. bird, maybe. But, um, but you get so taken aback with all the, the guests there. And when you and Pi were discussing what people look at in a wedding picture, we're all looking at, well, look at the grandma, how, you know, her hair She looks scared on the left gray, over or there. Or it's blue or it's whatever. Yeah. It's, you know, it, you just start seeing other things. And I'm not so focused on the bride and the birds. And the birds look a little distressed. They do look distressed. <laughs> so I have taken a ton of these photos throughout my career, but I think only one ever made it to my website mm -hmm. for all of these things that you're bringing mm -hmm. up. One, you got to worry about the composition. I feel like this is way too wide. It's showing mm -hmm. all these people and these mm -hmm. people. Maybe a lot they of took them, it vertically. It might have been. It maybe. But then if you take vertically, what's behind the shot? It's like mm -hmm. just this weird roof of a building. And yeah. so I don't think that looks very good. I don't think the horizon's straight either. I feel like it's mm -hmm. cockeyed to the left a little bit. It needs mm -hmm. to be turned to the right. Um, the birds don't look good. The facial expression of a lot of the guests look bad. Mm -hmm. The post-processing on this image I do not like. It's mm -hmm. got this grungy high-pass filter look mm -hmm. that's too crunchy looking. I just feel like it looks cheap to me. Mm -hmm. And so for all these reasons, I would not put this in my portfolio. Mm -hmm. But that being said, I took tons of pictures that look like this. Mm -hmm. And the bride and groom are gonna be very happy with this. Oh yeah, yeah, they'll be thrilled. Mm -hmm. I just don't know that someone else sees that and goes, ooh, I gotta have birds in my thing. They'll look at that and go, I don't need the yeah, birds. that looks like a pain in the butt. Like yeah. People don't really look like they're having fun there. Yeah. Community agrees. 1.69. Yeah. Hmm. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. I'm giving it a three. I'm in between a three and a four. I'm, it looks a little bottom heavy. It is. But Should that's the art, Mom. Oh, well, see, I didn't go to art school. I do like it, and I like that he and the child are, are in the same color vein, and then everything else is kind of gray or, you know, pale. I, I like this composition. I see what mm -hmm. you're saying. Maybe maybe you could crop in a little bit if you just crop in mm -hmm. past that building on the left that was a partial building. I think it just needs to be down more to his waist. You don't, don't you remember so. Pi from the last critique saying, don't and crop people at the waist? Well, I heard him saying something about waist and hips, but I didn't yeah. catch the whole thing. Yeah, so I, well, I don't know. I mean, well, obviously. Would Pi like this cropping? I think he would because it's purposefully done in this weird way mm -hmm. to make it we more about the city him. and everything. Um, but see, it's not about, about the city because we got the sky. There's too much sky. Well, you can't. You I don't know. want to crop the top of that no, skyscraper. No, you don't want to do there. that, but to get, you know, get, get right. rid of some of it. Zoom in a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, the baby could be a little happier. <laughs> the baby doesn't look too thrilled. And then the bird. I love uh -huh. birds. Uh huh. But the bird is so close, it looks like it's about to attack the baby. Mm. Do you agree? Well, I can see where you're going with that, but I don't think he looks that close. Because he's not in focus. So if the bird could be removed, uh -huh. do you prefer the bird in there or not? I think I could live without the bird, but I'm happy with the bird. What if the bird could be moved up uh, and put into the sky? Oh, now that I'd like. That would be good. That might be the thing to do with him. Yeah, I mean, I still really like it. Community mm -hmm. likes it a little less. 2.51. Okay. But I do like what it. What the heck? Oh, man. Oh, man. What the heck? It's a fish attacking a fish that's being attacked by an eagle? That, and is that an eagle? The eagle doesn't look like an eagle. It <laughs> looks like, that's weird. So I am now struggling because this is such an incredible turn of events. Mm -hmm. But that's again, the photo bizarre. isn't very good, so what do I rate this? Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm giving it a four. Okay, I gave it three. I yeah, I don't know how this is captured. I mean, this is such a wild picture. Mm -hmm. But you guys have to agree, it's just not... There's just not that much going on besides the insanity that's going on. Just the background of the water blurring out and then the, the splashes of the water. It just all kind of looks snapshotty. Mm. But then there's this amazing thing happening in the image. It's not mm -hmm. a very uh, artistic photograph, I mm. guess is what I'm trying mm -hmm, to say. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily want to hang that on my wall. No, but I could see this in a textbook or something, mm -hmm, a biology mm -hmm, book. Mm -hmm. Or National Geographic magazine. Community. Two. Wow, I'm Needs surprised. Needs work. This is tricky. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to read this very wrong. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm in between a three and a four. I love him. But here's the thing with this, and uh -huh. maybe I'm wrong, but this feels studio lit. Uh -huh. So it feels like a big soft light is above this bird. Uh -huh. which makes me believe that potentially this bird is not alive and that this was taken at some museum or something. Mm. And Well, and look here. What's going on on his shoulder over there? That doesn't look like it's natural. I don't know. And the background looks a little fishy, too. But his... But his face looks so good yeah, yeah. that I feel like this deserves a four. But something about it doesn't feel genuine to me. Hmm. So if you took this image, let us know. How did you take this? How did you like this? Because something's something's yeah. not normal with this. But I do like it. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. I do too. Community, 3.19. Okay. And that wraps up this critique. Oh. So how was it? How do you think you did? That was fun. I don't know if I, you know, made people happy or sad. <laughs> well, you always you always will make people on YouTube sad. <laughs> More angry. More angry than sad. Nobody's sad. They're just infuriated. Oh, okay. That's okay. part of being a YouTuber now. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I think we agreed more than I thought we would. Yeah. I thought you were going to be writing stuff four and five the whole time, but for the most part, we agreed yeah. with the lower rated images. Yeah. I've learned a lot from watching you and Patrick. My mother watches every video we've ever made that, you know, passes in front of her, which is every one. My wife, Katie, doesn't watch any. Oh. And I will tell her, like, yeah, we just released something that's really funny. I think it's great. She's like, yeah. great. She'll never watch it. <laughs> never. I'll have to speak to her. You will not make her a fan of mine. I will. <laughs> she does not care. She does not care at all. She uh, loves you for you. Yeah, she loves me for me. She does not care that I am a YouTube nerd celebrity. Yeah. At all. Yeah. And I and she keeps saying, if I if I made videos, you wouldn't watch my videos. And I said, yes. Yes, I would. Yeah. If you made videos, she's a commercial interior designer. If you made videos where tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people tuned in to view some yeah. of our videos, yeah. I would definitely want to see videos that got a million views of yours. That's yeah. incredible. And she's For like, oh, sure. well, that's the difference between you and me. <laughs> well, that wraps up this critique. If you'd like to be a part of the next one, remember dog photography, anything with a dog in it, go to the link in the description. You can upload your dog pictures. And if you want to head over to fstoppers.com slash store, you can see all of our tutorials. Those are what you can win for free if you are the highest rated image or one random winner. Thank you for watching.